Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to continue our advertisement uh, uh, studies and now we are going to learn about uh, the service data. So today we will learn how we can include the services uh, data in the advertisement packet. Sometimes we want to transmit some of the services data in the advertisement packet without even the connection establishment. For example, uh, we want to transmit heart rate or we want to transmit the battery level of the device or so on so we can uh, use uh, the services data and we can transmit it along uh, with the BLE advertisement packet in some cases we want to transmit uh, some important data so it depends uh, upon your application uh, the, in order to enhance user experience we can add uh, more stuff or if uh, you are uh, you have a specific application and in that application you need to transmit uh, some services data in the advertisement packet without even the connection establishment then you can do it in this way so how to add service data in the advertisement packet so the first thing is uh, we have uh, some steps here so the first uh, step is we have to uh, so define the service data structure variable we have to define this uh, type of variable of uh, this uh, type of structure so for example we have a B, uh, service data as uh, the variable of uh, type uh, so BLE ADV data service data then we have to define uh, another variable which is going to hold the value uh, that we need to transmit uh, alongside the advertisement packet for example in our case let's consider our battery data and uh, let's say its uh, level is uh, from 0 to 100 and we are sending 80 uh, percent battery so for that we will define another variable of unsigned integer 8 type it depends on what type of data you want to transmit the next thing is uh, we have to initialize the service uh, data uh, by assigning the values to the structure uh, then we have to assign a UUID then assign the data size then assign a pointer which points uh, to this uh, data variable so this pointer will uh, point to this uh, data variable we have to define the data size for example it's, uh, in this case it's just uh, one byte we have to assign a UUID to this so it depends on uh, what UUID we assign it so it, we will see that the third step is we have to configure the data in advertisement packet and uh, set the service data count so, and we need uh, a pointer uh, which is going to point uh, to the service uh, data structure so this would be pointed uh, by a pointer and uh, then we will uh, it, it's going to retrieve the data from this structure and then it's going to transmit it in the advertisement so the next uh, part is we have to initialize the advertisement after the configuration in order to configure everything for the advertisement and then uh, later on we will start the advertisement and uh, the advertisement packets will contain this data now let's see uh, the service data structure there are two parts here the first one is unsigned integer 16 type the service UUID and the second one is the unsigned 8 array uh, T type uh, data so this data is in the form of array of unsigned integer 8 uh, we will send the data in this formation so let's see the service UUID can be standard or custom if uh, the standard then we can use the predefined constants for standards uh, we will see that and uh, if it's a custom then we have to define a custom UUID and then we will put it here the data is the array which holds the data values uh, that will be transmitted alongside the advertisement packet and uh, this is the data so that's the structure and uh, this will hold the values now let's go into the programming and uh, see how we can program this uh, now we are going to start the programming for including the service data in uh, the advertisement packets so let's start so go into this PC go into the C directory here we have NRF SDK 
and uh, go into the examples go into my projects and uh, let's copy the base project again and paste it here and let's rename it as so this would be uh, the name and let's go into the PCA10056 because I'm using NRF5283840 and if you are using NRF52832 then you can open PCA10040 so I will open this one S140 is the soft device SES is the Sagar Embedded Studio and I'm going to open the EM project file let's zoom in a little and uh, let's go in the start so here in the previous uh, case we have seen that we add uh, some services uh, over here for the advertisement we've, which we want to include in the advertisement but uh, for adding the service data uh, we don't need to do anything here we will just go uh, in the advertisement in it and here we will do everything so first of all uh, let's create a variable which is going to hold the value uh, for the service data here in our case I'm just going to create a simple variable it will contain uh, the batteries and data so first let's create the variable I'm just uh, setting it to 90 when you are receiving the data from a specific peripheral for example from ADC or other way then you will assign it uh, from that side so here I'm just directly assigning it to show how it works and uh, the next thing is we need to create a structure uh, which will hold the service data for that we have seen this structure in the presentation slides and it's BLE ADB data service data underscore T and uh, let's name it as service and data now we have a variable of uh, this structure and we have a simple BTY data variable which holds the battery value uh, now the next thing uh, we need to do is we have to initialize it so how do we do the initialization so once we have uh, cleared the memory for this initialization this structure uh, then we can uh, put it anywhere I'm just gonna uh, put it around here let's set it so service data uh, dot service UUID the first thing that we need to set is the UUID so here I will just use a standard uh, defined UUIDs so for that I will just write here and uh, UUIDs will appear then we can select from there BLE UUID battery service so here is the BLE UUID battery service and uh, this is the service uh, UUID the next thing we need to do is we have to define the size so for that we will use the same structure dot data uh, dot size and uh, let's define the size so we will just uh, use a simple function size of here our BTY data which is the battery variable now we need to point uh, towards this variable for that let's say service data dot data dot p and data which is a pointer to the data and uh, we will point to the address not to the variable directly so for that we will use and and then we will use the vty data and uh, the next thing we need to do is we have to set it in the initialization so init dot adv data dot p service and data array so here we have a pointer which uh, points to the data array of the services uh, here it's just going to point towards this variable so in this case it's the address of this variable so it's going to be this variable's address and the last thing we need to do is we have to tell how many data points that we have to add so here it's just one so for that we will just uh, assign it directly adv data dot service and data count and here is just a one so I will just say one data point and uh, that's it uh, for this advertisement this is how we include the data in the advertisement packet now let's build it okay it's built okay make sure your device is connected click on target connect and now click on erase all and now click on target and uh, 
download so once it's downloaded uh, then uh, it will start advertising now we need to uh, see the advertisement packets we can use Wireshark or we can use the NRF connect but in NRF connect uh, we won't be able to read the values properly we need to see it in the mobile interface where we can see uh, the values of the battery level so here is the Bluetooth low energy I will click on it and open it make sure your dongle is also inserted in the USB port so I will click here select the device here is my USB dongle and uh, my device is already programmed and it's advertising now so I will click on this start scanning and uh, here are the devices list and uh, if I see my advertisement data here appearance is 0000, which means uh, it's an unknown appearance and uh, the service data is here but uh, here we can't read uh, the data properly because it's uh, just uh, showing us the hexadecimal values now if uh, we want to see it uh, in a proper format uh, let's turn on the mobile phone and let's see in the mobile application okay guys now here is my nrf connect app i will open this up and uh, here is my device advertising and uh, this is the sam bt i will if i open up its uh, properties we can see here there is a battery level shown here which is the data that has been sent by the device in the advertisement and uh, this is the service data uh, for the battery and it's uh, showing the battery level and here we can uh, easily read the battery level to be 90 percent so that's how we can include our services data and uh, we can see that in the advertisement okay guys that's it for today I hope so you have learned something new today and uh, please be sure to support me on my PayPal and Patreon and if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments below and uh, if you are new to my channel please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you like this video uh, share my video among your friends as well thank you very much for watching see you in the next video